Good afternoon and welcome to a new episode of Mythbusters. I'm Troy Tyler. I'm Jason Moore. And I'm Mario Javier Jr. Forest Baron will be these two marshmallows. We will be placing them inside of a microwave for 30 seconds and see which one expands the most. Magic. When microwave marshmallows, which grows more? The jumbo marshmallow or the miniature marshmallow? So like always, first off, we start off at the drawing board. Our first step was to first illustrate our marshmallows and then sort of measure them you know get their radius and their height with our measurement the miniature marshmallow had a radius of 0.5 and it had a height of 1.2 then go ahead and draw a bigger marshmallow for our jumbo And this one had a radius of 2.5 and a height of 2.5. And as you can clearly see, the Jumbo Marshmallow has bigger dimensions than the Jumbo Marshmallow. And this goes along with our initial hypothesis that we believe the Jumbo Marshmallow will grow more than the Jumbo Marshmallow because it has more mass to start off with. Now, for the second step, to test our hypothesis of the second bigger marshmallow growing, we need to see its expansion first. The second step, this is where we'll begin our testing. We'll need a microwave and a little time for both of them. We're going to place both marshmallows, the small one, and the large one, side by side, in the microwave, given for an overall time of about five seconds. Now, we're microwaving them both in five seconds, one to see an equal amount of time at the rate they both expand, and also because they are both easily able to expand in the microwave in that short period of time. So we're not only looking at the height in this case, we'll also be looking for the radius in this case. So with both variables in mind for the radius and height and the rate of expanding five seconds, we can begin doing the math and seeing which one truly starts expanding, the larger one or the smaller one. Before we actually find the hypothesis, we actually have to find the initial volume between these two. To do that, you have to use the volume of the cylinder because it looks like a cylinder. So the volume of the cylinder is pi r squared times pi. Now I'll just plug in these this numbers on this volume. Pi point five squared. Thank you. 
During this test for the Jumbo Marshmallow, we can see that both the radius and the height are expanding radically throughout this time, increasing the volume. Now for the much smaller marshmallow, we can see a similar growth in the radius and the height, just barely, but not necessarily a significant growth. To support our hypothesis and our, make our conclusion, we have come up with a mathematical equation to prove. We first start off with finding the average velocity, which is taking the final position, subtracted from the initial position, and divided over time. With this, we found the rate at which our height was changing. And for the mini, as you can see, is not that much. But for the jumbo, you can see it's increasing almost twice as much as the mini. <clears throat> For the second step, we used in different, implicit differentiation, which is taking our velocity equation and using the product of the world to de derive it to come up with said equation, and then plugging our values into it. And as you can see, the double marginal one by a landslide. Yeah, Jane. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>